Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about economy picking and how to master the technique. Now make sure you stick around to the end for a secret Ingve Malmsteen trick that's sure to speed up your playing. We're not going to waste any time getting into the lesson. Here we go. So economy picking is a huge technique that usually flies under the radar. Most likely your favorite shredder uses this technique and you didn't even know it. So what is economy picking? You've probably heard it increases people's speed and efficiency. Simply put, and I mean simply, economy picking is a way to use fewer amount of pick strokes to hit the same amount of notes that you would if you were, say, alternate picking. It's really a fusion between alternate picking and sweep picking that reduces the up and down motion of this hand and prevents you from having to like jump over the next string to pluck it. A ridiculously simple example of this picking hand technique can be found in Adrian Smith's solo section in the Iron Maiden song, The Trooper. This piece just uses two strings, so it's a great stepping off point, and it really shows what the basic motion of the picking hand needs to do in economy picking. <laughs> Did you notice on the first part of that example how I used one stroke to actually pluck two different notes on two different strings? Now that's the actual way that Adrian Smith plays that part of the solo, but keep that very basic plucking hand technique in mind as we go through these next exercises. All right, exercise number one, simple pentatonic. <laughs> All right, that lick was a three string economy lick and the big takeaway was the pick motion of the picking hand. When I go into the technique, you can see the picking hand doing less work and basically sweeping between the strings. It becomes even more evident when you incorporate more strings into a pentatonic lick, which leads us to our next example. All right, exercise number two, six string pentatonic. <laughs> So that's largely the same pattern as the first technique. We're just throwing in more strings. I do start this lick with a little bit of economy picking just to get into the pentatonic kind of pattern. But when I get into the economy picking, you can see my hand start to relax and sweep. And that's how we pluck the strings as we're ascending. When you look at it, it's almost kind of hard to conceptualize like how you're actually plucking all of the strings and all the sounds that you're making. This technique is actually really good for warming up once you have it down. And it's also really good for like hand coordination between the fretting hand and the picking hand. All right, exercise number three, diminished economy runs. <laughs> This example uses the same up-down pattern as the other exercises, but it changes the position of the notes. This technique is a slight step up in complexity because the pattern in which you use your fingers on ascending the strings will likely change. During the ascending run, when I go from the G to the B string, I actually come up a whole two frets. Now that means that when I come back to the G string to play the note above, I have to use my middle finger instead of my ring finger or my pinky. Now the sound and actual harmony of the scale may sound pretty familiar because it's used in a lot of death and tech metal. The classic death metal song, Spheres of Madness by Decapitated, uses this phrasing and sound in the main riff of the song. All right, exercise number four, mixing hammer and pull-offs with economy picking. <laughs> This lick is actually a little section of the Nightbringer solo from the Black Dahlia Murder. 
Brandon Ellis, their lead guitarist, is a huge proponent of economy picking, and he uses it as one of his main techniques throughout a lot of his solos. Now, an important key to this exercise is that if you look at my picking hand, I actually pick down two strings. Now, while this isn't the fastest economy lick that you'll ever play, it may be one that's easy for you, but it also shows the efficiency of the technique and how much of a load it takes off of your plucking hand. All right, last but not least, but exercise five, the ascending three note run. All right, so I definitely didn't play it as fast as him, but this is a signature technique used by Ingve Malmsteen. He uses this technique in the beginning of the I Am a Viking solo, and he uses it in a ton of his other leads. The pattern is that down, up, down, down, up, down, down, which allows you to pluck the next string, almost as if you're alternate picking, but you're using the same stroke. This is likely the most common technique of most shredders once they nail it, but it is a little difficult. All right, guys, hope this short lesson helped. Let us know what you think in the comments. And please, if you enjoy the content, please subscribe below so you don't miss any more videos like this. All right, catch you later.